Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add color to your soy candles. Adding color to your soy candles is really easy. There are three different types of candle dye, but the method is relatively the same for all of them. Whichever method you choose, I highly recommend completely covering your workspace area beforehand to avoid dyeing your table or your countertops. I don't know from experience. Unless you like having colored fingers, you can also wear gloves to avoid dyeing your skin. Follow along and I'm going to show you each type of candle dye and how to use it. You can get all three types of candle dye at ProCandleSupply.com. The first type of candle dye is diamond dye chips. Some people prefer to use the diamond dye chips because you can easily remember how many dye chips to use each time you dye your candles. However, please note that a lot of the diamond dye chip colors will give you a much lighter pastel color in your soy wax compared to the other two dye options. You also have to be careful with this method because you must completely dissolve the chip in order to avoid leaving behind solid color specks in your candle. The next two types of candle dye are Pro Candle Supply dyes. We use these two types of candle dye to make thousands of candles every year since we find that they are very concentrated and the easiest to achieve the desired color. The second type of dye is our highly concentrated liquid dye. I find this the easiest to use and you can make virtually any color by mixing colors. It's also very simple because you just add drops with your dropper tip until you've reached your desired color. Then you can write down the number of drops you use per pound of wax so that it's repeatable and your candles have a consistent color. The third type of dyes are dye blocks. Please don't confuse these with other companies' dye blocks as these are much larger and can dye up to 10 to 20 pounds of soy wax with just one block depending on the shade of color you're trying to achieve. We find that these are much easier to dissolve than the diamond dye chips. So let's get started dyeing our candles with each type of dye. But first, here are two tips you should follow that are very important to get a consistent color. First, it's always best to add the fragrance oil first, as some fragrances can change the color of the soy wax. Secondly, when working with the dye chips and the dye blocks, it's always best to add them around 185 degrees so that they can fully dissolve. So first, we're going to make a soy candle with the cinnamon red diamond dye chips. We're going to use two chips per pound of soy wax. I have one pound of soy wax in here and I'm going to add the two chips until they're dissolved. Another great tip to remember is that with each type of dye, your colors will appear darker when they're being mixed in hot wax. So when you think that you've achieved your desired color, take a couple drips out and drip on a white piece of paper. It will quickly dry and you'll see a more true color. I'm going to do that now with the diamond dye chips. Now we're going to make a soy candle with our purple liquid dye. This is personally my favorite method. I'm going to use six drops per pound of soy wax to achieve a nice light lavender color. If I wanted to make a darker candle, I could just simply add more drops of dye. See how easy that was? I didn't have to worry about any sediment or heavy mixing. And now I'm going to take a couple drips and put it on the paper. Lastly, we're going to make a soy candle with our hunter green dye blocks. If you're making a larger batch of candles, these are nice because you can just throw in a whole block and mix it until it's dissolved. If you're making one or two candles, you can simply shave off a portion of the block into your wax until you've reached your desired color. Or you can take a more scientific approach and weigh out the amount of dye that you're adding on a 0.1 gram scale. For the color that I'm trying to achieve, I know that I need 1.3 grams of dye block per one pound of soy wax. I have one pound of soy wax here and I weighed out 1.3 gram portion and I'm going to add it now. So if I was making 100 candles, I would just take 1.3 grams times 100 pounds of soy wax and add 130 grams of dye block to my wax. Whichever method you use to dye your soy candles, it's best to take notes. This way when you go back to make the same candles or work with that color again, you have some method of repeatability. 
I find that the best formula is to write down how much dye I use per pound of soy wax. This way I can multiply by how many pounds of wax I'm making. So now I'm going to pour these candles. You'll see now that they're a much darker color and when we come back in 20 minutes you can see that they're much lighter. The lighter color will look more like the color on the paper that we tested. Okay, so we're back and the candles have cooled and now you can see accurately that the drip test paper matches how the candles will look once they've cooled. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful. It's super easy and colors are a fun way to spice up your soy candles. Once again, you can find all of these dyes at ProCandleSupply.com. I'll have more tutorials later on how to make multicolored and layered candles, so subscribe if you're interested. Thanks so much. Bye now.